But a very nice second shot right over the flag coming out the rough and just tiptoed over the back of the green. For an eagle. It should run out. It should run out. Beautiful putt. Back to a little par, back to where he started, 18 under. It's a mighty hit. From there, 328, up the hill. Right, Ken, which one would you rather have out of those three? I'm just going to wait till this one stops. Oh, that's, that's probably the first tee shot. I would too. You took the least risk and probably got the most gain. Yeah, into the grain, Ken, as I said, just uh, not lying too badly. A little bit of grass behind it, but into the grain, which makes it awkward. Sounded good. I think our man from Spain is the closest. I think he is, yes. Yes, he can. And Forrest joins Hill at the top of the leaderboard. So it all worked out well in the end. Perfect pin, perfect breeze, and a good light for Forrest. Shy Forest comes from a town where there's a hill called a law. This one looks virtually dead straight, but if anything, it might have a hint of left or right, so no formality. Yeah, spot on, Tim. Just eased to the right, but had enough pace and a good strike. So a good birdie for Forest. He's hot on Hill's tails. Uh, say just overdrawing that one a little bit. Actually, not too bad. It is a slow putt across the green. I think he likes it. Oh, oh. oh. fantastic shot! Phenomenal shot, in fact. Right into the heart of the cup. A well, well deserved too, keeping the pressure on his opponent he's playing with today, or the leader. One behind. Penalty area on the right, but it's fairly wide to the right where these boys are driving it. Good shot. I like his sawn off follow through with the driver. Look at this thing go. Oh my goodness. Nice. Miles down there, isn't it? Does he like it? Yeah, pretty well played. Started on the 11, finished on the 11. Needs to hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, last dimple, last dimple. And now that has changed the look of everything. Half the amount of shots that Callum Hill took at the 10th. Setting up here for a draw, Tim, with the wind helping off the right. Just got a guard against going in that pot bunker. He has, but remember that tee shot at eight? He was brave there, exactly this scenario. Draw into a pin, cut hard left. Can he do it again? He can. Right down the flag. Exactly the same shot, virtually the same result. Well, there you go, Robert. There's your answer. Leading. Run, Forrest, run. Catch me if you can. That's just marvellous. Start to the back nine. Birdie at 10 and a birdie at 11. 23 under par. That's one of the most efficient swings out there in terms of effort put into it and power coming out of it. It's very impressive. Whistle at the club. Oh, an excess check, my boy. Look at this. Maybe just a little unlucky there. Caught the fringe. If he catches the green, that probably drifts all the way down. Very nice. Moving some earth. 
just down the right hand side that's where the mark's aiming just on the edge and it never turned a single inch Yeah, sounded good and is good over the flag. Maybe just a little bit of jump. Crucial stages. Well, there's not much you could do out of that lie, to be honest, our leader. What a pot. What a pot for Grant Forrest. He was asked the question. Goodness me, he was up to the task. Keeps his neck in front by the skin of his teeth. Great save there on 14. Definitely, Ken. Crucial stage. Bang, right in the middle. Court pressure. I'd still rather be in James Morrison's position. He's got through 16 and 17. Got a tap in to come at 17. Morrison. Ooh, this is a brave play. Driver down the shaft. Driver's going to tickle one down there. But Remember the drive, if you pull it left, you can reach the gorse. Surprised at this. T took a little bit off it, you could see that. A chaser down the left hand side. Goodness me, that was brave. Knew exactly what he was doing with the power he possesses. 142 yard wedge. Third green in a row. He's had a part for part of length. Can he make it again? No, he can't. Well, just as Tim said, he saw Hills going the other way. The old twirl. I think he likes it. Has he got the right distance? Has he got the right distance? He's jolly well has. Never left the flag. Absolutely spot on. Spendiferous. What a swing, what a response from Grant Forrest. Yeah. What a moment for Forrest. He brushes aside the bogey in the 16th, bounces back immediately with a birdie at the 17th. He's tied atop with Morrison with one hole left to play. Absolute stonker, look at that. Absolutely exactly where he's aiming. He's got it a decent distance up there. One more good swing. Somehow he's got a nerdle of four out of this. He doesn't have to get this ball all the way back to the flag. If he gets on the front of the putting surface, it's fine. But he can hit this so ripping hard and low, he might better chase it back there. Not the widest of targets though. Bit of an upslope. Looking left. Oh, pitched it and he pinned high. What a shot that is. What a shot, Ken Brown. I'm surprised he's trying to get it all the way back there, as, as you said. That's a wonderful approach. Absolutely stunning. There's James Morrison and Jess. It's been a great day. I'm sure Jess's family down in Melbourne, Australia, will be looking on. It's a good pace, it's not bad, it's not bad, it's not given. Just uh, tiptoed far enough, it's six, ex, that's extra six inches of roll, otherwise you'd have really been sweating. And he's yeah! done it! Forrest supplants Morrison and claims his maiden title. He is a European Tour winner, welcome to the Winners Club. He passed and proved himself in the pressure cauldron of contention on a final day. He doesn't have to ask himself that question ever again. Oh, a fantastic moment to the man who lives in North Berwick.
Well, Grant, many, many congratulations. You step into the winner's circle on the yeah. European Tour for the very first time as the Hero Open champion. If you can, yeah. what are the emotions right now? Oh, there's so many, so many emotions. You know, to, to, to do it in front of, of everyone who's come up to support me. You know, it's been, you know, the last year and a half has been a real challenge, like, um, on and off the course. So, oh, I'm, just, I'm just delighted. It will take a while to sink in, but just delighted, yeah. It was a thrilling battle. I mean, you uh -huh. had us all on the edge yeah. of our seat. You held the top spot after uh -huh. the 10th hole, but standing on the 17th, uh -huh. you trailed by one after James yeah. Morrison had a fantastic mm -hmm. round. What was going through yeah. your head at that stage? Um, well, you know, I had a poor shot into, into 17 and tried to play a bit, a bit too safe and then three putted. So <clears throat> I saw the scoreboard and, you know, I knew what I needed to do. And, you know, <clears throat> our big thing all day was, you know, one shot at a time and, you know, let's just keep hitting shots and you know, I had a great nine iron into 17, nice and close and you know, that really helps. Um, and then two great shots into 18, so it was, it was a great way to finish. Now, you're the first Scotsman to win on home soil since mm -hmm. Paul Laurie lasted it in yeah. 2012. And to yeah. do it here, the home of golf, there's St Andrews glistening in the background yeah. there. Can you try and put into words, you mentioned the crowds here as yeah. well, what does this mean to win oh, in this way? I mean, it just means so much. I've, you know, we've been through quite a lot as a family and, um, you know, to do it here, um, you know, it's what I've always dreamed of is, you know, to win a, a European Tour event. So, um, yeah, I just, I can't really, I can't believe it. And the family are all here, of course. Yeah, How will yeah, the celebrations look? They're, they're all greeting their eyes out over there. <laughs> you see you're nearly getting going as yeah, well. Uh, what will the celebrations yeah, look like as yeah. they all come together to celebrate? Well, I think there's a, a big party at the in-laws tonight. Um, so... Yeah, I look forward to that. Oh, well, enjoy yeah. it, Grant. Okay. Very well done. Right. Thanks very much. Cheers. Well, you got a feel for James Morrison, but what, what, what a nice guy Grant Forrest is. What a moment. Absolutely outstanding. Grant Forrest, the new Scottish hero, has arisen. I think there are a few more coming along. There's a lot of good Scottish players coming through. A lot to do with Paul Laurie at his centre and Dean Robertson at the pa Stirling University. Paul Laurie, Dean Robertson, the success that Stephen Gallagher has had. Robert McIntyre coming through, becoming Rookie of the Year, a European Tour winner. You know, make no bones about it. They they draw a tremendous amount of strength from that. It happened to the English players for, for the last decade, 20 years or so, and now maybe some of the Scots are starting to see it. Yes, 100%. They've just had the home internationals, and you know, they'll be all watching that, they'll all be seeing this and, and, and thinking, well, that could be me in five years. Fantastic scenes. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.